my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And today I'm sharing a recipe for ooey gooey turtle bars. You just need a few simple ingredients, so let me show you what you're going to need. You are going to need some sugar cookie dough. So you can use the refrigerated sugar cookie dough, homemade sugar cookie dough, or like me, I am using this sugar cookie mix. You are also going to need some butter, graham cracker crumbs, brown sugar, you're going to need some chocolate chips, pecans, and caramel topping. So let's get started. Okay, so I have a nine by 13 pan, and I've got some parchment paper around this. And you definitely wanna use some parchment paper because this is really, really sticky and it will make it very difficult to remove the bars from the pan if you don't have some parchment paper. So all I'm doing is dropping the dough in and I'm just gonna press the cookie dough evenly out in my pan. Okay, so I have my dough all pressed out. I'm gonna cut some of that excess parchment paper off. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees and I am going to bake this for about 10 minutes. Okay, so while my cookie dough is baking, I've got my butter melted in a pot here, or melting, I should say. To it, I'm going to add my brown sugar, my caramel, and my graham crackers. And I'm going to stir this continuously and let this come to a boil. Okay, so I've got my partially baked crust here. And so now what I'm going to do is just pour half of the chocolate chips over the crust and half of the pecans. And you're just gonna gently press them down on the crust. Next, you're gonna take that caramel mixture and you're just gonna pour it over the crust here and spread it out evenly. And now you're just gonna spread the rest of those chocolate chips and pecans over the mixture. Okay, now I am going to pop these bars back in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, so here are the turtle bars. I baked these for exactly 32 minutes. You can see they're still bubbling. I am going to let these cool completely and then I will cut them up so you all can see what they look like. Okay, so here are the bars and I let them cool completely. They came right out of the pan with the parchment paper. Again, I would encourage you to use parchment paper because otherwise they are so sticky. But as you can see, the crust kind of looks like a graham cracker now. All that brown sugar and caramel got into the sugar cookie crust. And the top is like a chewy praline. It's so good. And if I didn't mention it before, I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.